The wild kinky sex in the Amazon. Good fish get dull, but sex is always fun. This is the sentence of one of the members of the tribe living in the Amazon River Valley that best describes the way they looked at their own intimacy. Men had a high dose of libido and often had to fight with other guys in order to win an attractive woman. Instead of money, the women would get fish as currency, so the guys tried to catch as much as possible. Like ours and some other civilizations, the Amazonian tribes are an extremely eroticized culture in which, as the peasants like to say, sex is the pepper that gives vitality. Find out about all the sexual fantasies of the people who lived in these areas in the upcoming video. Be sure to subscribe to the History Facts IA channel to watch more videos like this in the future and learn about the sexuality of other peoples. Enjoy the video! Among Amazonian tribes, there was a stigma against same-sex relationships, as well as self-indulgence and incest. Sexual intercourse with members of other nations is also prohibited. The only sexual object for pleasure should be a cross-relative. There are also certain exceptions that villagers can make. Different sexual practices can be seen in the mythology and rituals of this people. There you can see the relationships of close relatives, self-indulgence, relationships with people of the same sex, or even with plants and animals, which is particularly bizarre. There were certain rituals in which men and women changed roles, so women take care of the house and do all men's work, and men take care of children. In one of the rituals, men symbolically imitate the situation when women are in their menstrual cycle. We can talk about a matriarchally organized society, unlike other civilizations that are organized in the form of patriarchy. The battle of the sexes in the Amazonian tribes is more than a metaphor. Men and women often make offensive sexual jokes in public. Men are very insecure about themselves and are afraid of women. There is great antagonism in male-female relations, but despite this, they live together and smoothly carry out all the necessary activities together. Every romantic love aroused suspicion. Husband and wife should respect each other, and as their relationship develops, they should not be so intimate and pay a lot of attention to each other. Only a new emotional couple within the tribe is allowed something more than mere affection. The newly married couple spend most of their days together. The longer they are together, the affection turns out to be silly and the spouses are teased by those around them. According to certain legends, excessive thoughts about a spouse attract snakes, jaguars, and evil spirits. A lonely boy is almost always celibate, especially while on medication. Towards the end of his stay, it is common for him to succumb to temptation and sneak out at night to have an affair. When his father hears about it, he forces him into public life. He is now becoming a man and is ready to get married. He cautiously enters the elaborate sexual network of relations within the village. Arranging sexual relations with most women can be extremely humiliating. Single girls don't have a problem because they don't have husbands who will make them jealous. Their fathers will be pleased if interested boys send gifts in the form of fish. Locals have a very casual attitude towards premarital courtship and sexual relations. It is problematic for men that most women are mostly married. Amazonian tribes have no problem with sexual relations outside of marriage, but pregnancy before marriage is strongly criticized. The mother of an illegitimate child is an object of ridicule. A child without a father and alone is vulnerable to abuse. Most girls get married as soon as they are out of their teenage years. All affairs involve extramarital affairs. There is a danger because both men and women are very jealous. There are many myths that warn that adulterers can experience tremendous anger from their partners. According to these stories, adulterous couples can be beaten, dismembered, or stuck together forever during the sexual act. All men love sex, while women have a different situation. Women have a different view of sexuality than men. Men are much more open about it. Women can use their sexuality to survive just like they will get a fish for intercourse with a man. Certain bursts stifle their nature. While she is a girl, she has no problems. But as she grows up, men make offensive comments about her reproductive organs. When she gets her first period, she is accused of contaminating food, desecrating rituals and diseases. Discreet sexual relations are dangerous because there is a risk of pregnancy, which is very painful. The gifts she receives from her lover are a guarantee that she will not be judged in society, and if her occasional boyfriend notices suspicious sexual behavior, she will be an object of ridicule. Entering the network of sexual contacts is very delicate. Girls can be bought with the help of one of the established lovers. In exchange for a small gift, she will agree to meet him for sex. A more daring option is for a guy to approach her when she is alone in a public place. The road to the river and the bush are favorite places for intercourse. In those places, the guy takes the girl's hand firmly and tells her that he wants to have a relationship with her. 
The suitor can sweeten the marriage proposal with a gift in the form of soap, a comb, or a handful of beads. If the girl accepts, she will immediately indulge in relations in the bush. They can also do what is called alligatoring. The alligator is a metaphor that is inserted into the intimate life of these people because the alligator is an animal full of libido. Sexual behavior varies with partner preferences. The most common position in which Amazonian people have is a sitting pose. They do not practice intercourse on the floor because of the danger of insect bites. Favorite positions are practiced when they have enough privacy and time. There are other methods adapted to situations with less privacy. One of them is when couples have intercourse in a hammock, which is not exactly a comfortable position and there is not much privacy. Relationship with animals is mentioned as a special type of sodomy. According to the testimonies, someone would be so insane that he would actually have an intimate relationship with animals. In the myths, sexual relations with animals were frequent, so it was evidently embedded in the culture of this people. It is mostly about encounters between women and snakes. Animals are used for these purposes because of sexual anxiety and fear of entering into relationships with people from other groups. Dreams about sexual relations with animals occur very often. Such dreams are never attributed to one's own sexual fantasies, but to a witch who causes nightmares. Dreams have predictive power, so if you have sex with worms, turtles, and snakes, it means that you will have sex in reality. If you dream of a relationship with an anaconda, it is a symbol that you will be attacked by a sexually aggressive woman. Animal and human sexuality are therefore closely related. Given that there are plenty of women around them that they can conquer in different ways, homosexuality for these people is ridiculous. The culture of homosexual behavior is at a minimal level. There is a myth that two men had intercourse, and then one of them got pregnant. In mythology, homosexuality is present, but in real life, it is at a miserable level. Unlike some other civilizations, incestoid relationships are strongly condemned. Only relatives who are in a cross relationship can have relationships, and those are the children of brothers and sisters of the opposite sex. Often these relationships are also considered very close, and that marriage and this type of relationship are suitable for grandchildren of the opposite gender. Often these relationships are also considered very close, and that marriage and this type of relationship are suitable for grandchildren of the opposite gender. As for self-indulgence, it is seen in older men who are left without a partner because he has passed away or for some other reason they cannot satisfy their sexual desire. To most, this is foolish behavior. No one wants to have intimate relations with older women, so they use wax figures for the purpose of self-indulgence. We introduced you to the sexual practices of people living in the Amazon River Valley. You could see the specifics of their culture in that regard. Like this video, share and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Until next time.